this. And if you guys are doing random campaign creations, then we have a problem because that's how I used to do it. And I used to run into a lot of trouble and it was very difficult to find out what was working and what was not working and how to scale. So you want to make sure that you adjust this so you have a system in place. The system works. The system is scalable. Thinking about, I should do this, I should do that, is not as scalable. Learn how to capture attention. My job is to wake people up. What is the objective here? Well, let's say that we're trying to generate, uh, we're trying to generate messages using Instagram, okay? Which you absolutely can, and you absolutely should. People on Messenger, right? And then inside that campaign, you have audiences, right? This is the campaign. This is what I call the campaign structure. This is the structure, right? Like, how are we going to set up this campaign? There is no randomness. And if you guys are doing random campaign creations then we have a problem because that's how I used to do it. And I used to run into a lot of trouble and it was very difficult to find out what was working and what was not working and how to scale. So you want to make sure that you adjust this so you have a system in place. The system works. The system is scalable. Thinking about, I should do this, I should do that, is not as scalable. A system is how you build an organization, a marketing department that can actually go in there and do the job correctly every single time. One campaign objective, in this case, messages, you turn on something called CBO, turn it on in the future, somewhere in 2020, this is going to be the um, default option. Right now, CBO has to be turned on. So you turn on CBO and then you create audiences. We know there are three types of audiences, right? There's three types of audiences in total. That's it. And those three audiences are interest based. And then you have lookalikes. And then you have custom audiences. You can actually have one messages campaign that includes all of these guys inside that campaign. All of these guys, video watchers, website visitors, um, um, people that are engaged with your Facebook page, um, your own customer file, and then you can have lookalikes of your customer file, of your video watchers, lookalikes of your website visitors, lookalikes of your page engaged fans. Then you can also have people that are interested in ketosis, in the keto diet, in health, in nutrition, in weight loss, in weight loss. Every single one of them is a separate audience. One audience one all right one you don't you don't just go ahead and put them all in one blah, 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 and it becomes a jungle so if this one starts performing then you don't know which is the audience that's performing if this one doesn't perform you just turn the whole thing off so you could have had a couple winners in there but you don't know so you don't do that this is now how you set up your campaigns so you have one message campaign many different audiences and then you can do up to three ads and that's it at one at two at three and that's it this one can be a single image this, this one can be and again this applies to instagram all right it's the same thing the social media marketing strategies okay this one can be a carousel carousel video carousel images this one can be a single video right here this one can have a certain copy. This one can have a longer copy. This one can have a shorter copy. You can vary them. And maybe if this one is not performing, people don't like it, you're not getting any sales on this one, hey, why don't you exit out and create a new one and vary it? Because again, there's two very important datums that you all need to understand if you want to succeed in a social media game. When a campaign is not performing, it's one of two things, and that's it one of two things when you're not getting the expected results there's no other way to look at it all right obviously if you want to get technical if your product doesn't have any demand nobody likes it it's a bad product well okay right but let's say that you know you have a good product you know you have a great quality product well you have two options here one and two okay either your audience is wrong and you need to fix that or 
your creative is wrong and you need to fix that. Maybe it needs a new creative. Maybe the video didn't work. Maybe the message didn't come through. The marketing message, the copyright was actually not great. You got to adjust that. So sometimes when a campaign doesn't perform, it's as simple as, let me plug in a new ad variation. Maybe, you know what? Let me just not, let's keep the same ads. Let me plug in on this same campaign, a few new audiences. Don't tell me that you've tested already all the audiences in the world. You will be broke. There's 2.3 billion people on the planet using social media. You cannot afford doing marketing to all of them. So you haven't tested out all the audiences. So if you're not getting results, hey, either do audience adjusting, add new audiences, turn off other ones that are losing, or creative adjusting. Change the copyright, change the image, change the video, change this, all right? So that's my intermission for the day because I do understand that um, if you want to succeed in the game, you got to have a structure. All right. The structure is key. The structure is going to help you guys get more of a system that you can scale, right? So you can recognize what things are working and not working. Okay, great.